Hello everyone, uh, let's solve the problem A from the bi-weekly contest 125. You can see the score is 2, so that is a pretty much easy problem. But if you are new to the programming, then you can face little bit of difficulties while solving this problem. First, let's understand the problem statement. Here you are given a 0 indexed integer array numbers and an integer k. In one operation, you can remove one occurrence of the smallest elements of numbers. So at every occurrence, we can remove one element of smallest, smallest element and we need to return the minimum number of operations needed so that all elements of the array are greater than or equals to k. He is saying that suppose we have this numbers 2, 11, 10, 1 and 3 he has given k is equals to 10. Now he want to remove the minimum element first he will remove 2 sorry first the minimum element is 1 so he will remove and he will check whether all my elements are greater than 10 no right then he will remove 2 then he will check all my elements are greater than 10 no then he will remove 3 then I will check all my elements are greater than 10 greater than or equals to yes so my we have removed 3 elements so my answer will be 3 so if you see uh, uh, like if you don't know anything so if you are new to the programming so, the, so what you can do so it's simple like you will iterate you will iterate you will iterate and you will find the minimum element after finding the minimum element you will make a visited array and you will make that element as visited visited you will calculate the minimum element and you will check if my minimum element is greater than k then i will stop my loop or else if my minimum element is less than k is less than k that means i need to make it visited then i will iterate then i will check so if we do that we will get the time complexity of order of n square and let's uh, yes, order of n square will also work here because if you see the constraints if you see the constraints these are only 50 so it will work but let's see the optimized approach if you want the minimum element to get the minimum element quickly what you can do you can do sorting right so 1 2 3 10 and 11 I will do sorting and my case is k is 10 so I will iterate my 1 is greater than or equal to 10 no 2 no 3 no so no 10 Yes. so till my 3 my answer so in this way I will calculate now you can see here I will sort it as in ascending order so it will take n into log n my time complexity then I will check my v of i is greater than or equals to k if it is there we will return c every time we are incrementing and we are returning the c so I think you have got it the time complexity would be order of n log n and we are not using any extra space so we are utilizing only the space given in the problem so the space will be a constant space so i think you have got it so if you learned something new from this video you can you can please like and subscribe so i have created a whatsapp community code with confidence you can join there for further updates thank you